Hello once again, and greetings from Japan. Uh, Saturday the 25th, I think it is, of, uh, on the 20th, you yeah, know, something like that, of um, February. And today we have uh, the Toyota Velfire. It's the top of the range, the VL, um, the uh, L package. And it's a four wheel drive version. You don't get too many four-wheel drive ones, but this is a nice one. It's a 2011 with 65,000 miles, 104,000 kilometers, I believe. Uh, 2011 July, and a nice, proper, clean car. As you can see, it's got the full Velside uh, dealer option kit. I think it's Velside. I mean. Uh, Model list. I mean, certainly the side ones are. Yeah, yeah, it must be. Anyway, whatever. Um, yeah, let's take a look at it. Just uh, don't think there's anything uh, to mention on the body, particularly. It's got aftermarket 18 inch alloy wheels, which are rather nice. Uh, it does need tyres. We can supply tires with a car if you like but i think they're actually cheaper in the uk um and if you're going to be doing the mot anyway in the registration you're going to uh your mot guy can put a set of wheels on tires on however if you do want um standard toyota uh 18 inch we can uh, change them to the standard ones if you prefer Although I think these ones are rather nice. So a nice straight body. And uh, has the uh, optional dealer option exhaust as well, which comes with the with the kit. Got all around uh, parking sensors, of course, and this one also has. Uh, uh, auto parking if you uh, uh, if you happen to learn how to use it uh, because this car comes with full cameras and uh, uh, additional uh, parking sensors and we've got a power rear gate and of course power slide doors and uh, full beige leather interior this one's got um again dealer option uh, uh, curtains not to my taste having black curtains but uh, it's uh helps and it cuts the light out and it's got the rear entertainment and the uh, premium sound system and the additional third headrest in the pouch Here. and it closes you can see how straight the uh, rear bumper is of course there's the usual 60 yard photographs on Dropbox that you can look at and uh, comprehensive photographs of the underneath yeah. it's a little bit chilly at the moment it's a bit of a wind you can see the panels are all very straight and the wing mirrors are all perfect, no cracks there, all around cameras. This one also has a, a parking pole. This, this owner went in for every conceivable parking option, sensors, cameras, parking pole and auto parking. So that's, um, Useful if you, you know, if you're not so accustomed to driving big cars, so yeah, it's useful to have all the aids. See, nice and clean. And the grill, and the front camera lens. It's all clean. And the rear remote. 
boat for the navy that will be sent, or the, the entertainment as well, that will be sent of course with all the uh, other spare keys and and uh, paperwork. All that kind of stuff gets sent. And as I've mentioned many times, we put these handles on, on this, on the GL and the VLs for some reason. They don't put the, uh, this handle on, which allows you to, <coughs> excuse me, to uh, slide the card, uh, slide, <laughs> slide the seat sideways to give you uh, the ability to move the seat a lot further back. Um, yeah, just very nice condition. The leather is all really nice, and I'm going to have to put the camera down a second the seat and then you can take a look in the back I mean the photographs in a sense give you a better better overall picture of the condition you know where it is that's the key close the door the car will come with two smart keys. I've only got one with me at the moment. The other one must be in the office. But we always make sure there's two keys with these cars. It's a lot easier for us to uh, to obtain them. And usually we always try and put a throw mat on top of the on top of the um, original mat just to uh, protect it in transit. Now with the containerizing, it it has minimized the kind of damage you very thankfully very rarely get on the ports on the on the docks. Because these you know, loaded into containers here in in the our container guys load them in uh, into the container here, and they get strapped down and then they get taken out. Um, well, actually, in a warehouse, uh, in the case of Felixstowe, and uh, so they are. It's actually a little bit better overall with the containerizing. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, warning. This is the dash. You can see the mileage: one hundred and four thousand kilometers, which is sixty-five thousand miles. And we'll start it up. The V6 three and a half liter engine, which is a very pleasant engine to to, uh, to drive. You can see all the warning lights are off. And what have we got? We've got um, well, we've got a very nice dealer option here. Which is a, it's a hot and cold box. You can uh, heat your drinks or cool your drinks, and uh, the cup holders. There's some controls for the hot and cold box and a couple of USB ports and another very deep um, two little uh, convenient boxes there and definitely a non-smoker car. There's your, your uh, manuals, your car manuals. It's got um, curtain airbags, etc., and uh, twin sunroofs. Everything works fine. The interior controls for the power doors and the sunroofs. And an important point with these early 20 series is the dash, making sure the dash is not sticky. This one is perfect. If you are buying one, that's something to check. And then on your steering wheel, you've got audio controls and Bluetooth controls. Uh, and down here, you've got the controls for the uh, uh, auto folding mirrors. This is the the parking pole. Um, it's, uh, you control the it up and down. And uh, and here you have the camera controls. I'll show that now. So you've got, you've 
got front cameras and side camera and that's a side front camera and that's uh, just a complete front and then you've got reverse of course reverse with guidance so you've got um, yeah you've got a lot of assistance in uh, especially when parking the car and also this this one comes with um, multiple um, memory positions for the driver's seat which is always useful and cruise control down here oh, sorry somehow I turned the uh, video off so came back on again must have touched it um, yeah so this is it for the interior just very nice Let's take a look at the take a look at the engine compartment. clean engine compartment and going around here we take a look at the auction sheet this one came from a Toyota auction Toyota maker auction from a Toyota dealer um, and the uh, grading system as I've mentioned many times and I imagine most of you now understand that there is no standard grading system in Japan so if you have the impression that you can, if you're buying a grade four car, that you're safe, uh, as the British would say, bollocks for that. It's uh, it doesn't um, it doesn't hold true at all. Some auctions grade four B is means absolutely nothing. At three point five in a maker auction such as Nissan, Honda, or Toyota, uh, is easily the equivalent of a proper grade four in any other auction uh, and the makers auctions tend to be particularly um, strict on their own cars and Toyota is definitely that way with their cars so they're very safe and to be honest with you we buy grade threes in in Toyota because their grading uh, is actually computerized it's not done by a human it's um done by an algorithm of the number of A's and U's and 1's and 2's and etc. So it's um, in that sense it's it's a little bit overboard so you have to kind of look at their auction sheets with uh, rosy glasses on. So anyway Heisei 23 July so that's 2011 July 104,000 kilometers which just translates to 65,000 miles Bellfire 3.5 VL edition and it's the four-wheel drive version uh, the four-wheel drives they, they fetch considerably more um, and uh, but if you're living in a place where uh, you have that kind of weather uh, personally yeah I'd, I'd keep a four-wheel drive and during the winter months if I'm going anywhere out of Tokyo I will only take a four-wheel drive just in case because the weather can change so quickly. And there's a couple of A4s you can see there. They were literally nothing. Um, they just uh, came off with uh, with just some little bit of compound. Uh, as I say, TAA, Toyota, and the maker auctions are are very severe with their auction sheets. But you are safer if you are buying cars. Um, you're safer to buy from those auctions and their auction sheets are a lot more accurate a lot more anyway that's my little speech as usual it's, um, it's 
So there we have it, a 2011, July, uh, Toyota Velfire VL edition, um, just and four-wheel drive. Uh, just a very nice car. If this car uh, is something you're looking for, please do talk to Paul at JA, and he can uh, walk you through the process of buying buying it and we can arrange the shipping. Uh, we're shipping predominantly for JA, we're shipping to Southampton, but uh, there are other ports uh, we can ship to. So um, anyway, thanks for watching and bye for now. We are a UK-based personal car import agent trading since 2004. We have a proven track record supplying thousands of Japanese cars direct from Japan to customers throughout the UK. Working as your appointed agent for a fixed commission, we provide a four-step personal car import service. This is an opportunity to cherry pick and safely buy the best high-grade, low mileage cars direct from Japanese car auctions at export trade prices for personal import to the UK. You will make large savings on UK retail prices while buying the best quality cars available in Japan. It's a genuine win-win opportunity. Before the auction starts, background checks and hands-on inspection are carried out by the Japanese staff. Under Japanese law, any accident history or mileage discrepancy must be declared by the auction and shown on the auction report. The truth is the best cars normally stay in Japan. They are bought by Japanese dealers for resale because the best cars will pass a strict Japanese roadworthy test, known as a shaken. Shaken failures are seen in Japan as fit for recycle or export. Many turn up in the UK without the auction port to maximize the dealer's profit margins. So it's vital to see a genuine translation of the auction report before the sale starts. Once we have found a particular car, we next arrange our hands-on inspection to confirm the condition matches the auction report and take a large number of photos. Keep in mind we are not car dealers buying and selling for profit. Why supply bad cars? when it's just as easy to supply a great car from the fountain of supply and simply keep adding to our long established superb track record. Check out our customer reviews or head to our YouTube channel found on our website to see the quality of the cars we supply. To learn more, pick up the phone and speak to us direct without obligation. Ask for Paul. Telephone 01625 560 505 or mobile 07989 560 505. Our email sales at japautoagent.com. <laughs>